Even though it hasn't even been a full week since I released SmartRect 4.0, I am releasing a new build of SmartRect, SmartRect 4.1 today. And the reason why, because um, I left out a very important feature that used to be in the previous versions of SmartRect, and that is SKU. I didn't realize uh, a lot of you actually used it. So many of you wrote back, whether in comments or emails, asking for that feature back. So I am bringing it back and uh, it's actually better. Before, this is what it was in the uh, SmartRec 4.0. As you can see, SKU is not there. Now to my defense, it was always there. It was just hidden. So you had to kind of go into you know the layer here and all the way under transform, you'll find SKU. So it's here. It was always there. I just removed it from the pseudo effect because I didn't think people used it. So I'm sorry about that. Now I brought it back. Let me show you what it looks like now. So let's go to SmartRec 4.1. Notice we have a new tab here. If you click on it, this is SKU. We have some options here. We have a slider. We have a reset button, up and down key. So we're going to set it to something like 30. We can select multiple text layers and we can run it. And just like that, we have SKU now. Not only can we adjust it in here, we can also select the shape, we can navigate over to the pseudo effects. So now we have it in here as well, as you can see SKU, you can adjust it in there, you can animate it, do whatever you want. I've also made some other changes to this release. If you go over to the naming tab in here, for example, if I pull in this name right here, I'm gonna pull in the name, there it is. I have added two more buttons. So we have uh, remove spacing, so if you, Click on that and it'll remove any kind of spaces, uh, which is awesome. You can also say add spaces and just like that, it will add them. Another thing I have added, it's in the about smart rect panel in here. As you can see, we have a release date now. So now you can see when this build was released. Uh, some of you ask for that. So now we have it in here and that's basically it. I did go in and uh, adjusted some things. Uh, we had some few errors, minor stuff. I fixed all of them, so we should be good to go. So as always, thank you for your awesome feedback. I appreciate all of you that have been very vocal about what you like and what you don't like. Because of you, I'm able to add things. So thank you for that. Thank you for your support. Until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.